Hi, I'm Jennifer Lackey, and my passion is helping small shop owners grow their business online using the powerful tools of social media. And I want to welcome you to the Small Shop Newsroom. Each week, I'll be your guide in navigating the social updates you need to know when it comes to social media, boutique ownership, and well, just running your business. Let's dive in. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Small Shop Newsroom, your ultimate destination for all things boutique magic. I'm Jennifer Lackey, your host and fellow instant boss. Today, we're diving into the wild world of social media and why it's crucial to run your boutique like you have a viral post at any moment. So grab your favorite beverage and let's dive in. So let's talk about going viral. It's like hitting the social media jackpot. One minute, you're a hidden gem, and the next, bam, everyone's talking about your boutique. But hey, let's get real. Are you really and truly prepared for that viral moment? Here's the thing. Going viral can be a blessing, but it could also be a curse. It can catapult your boutique to new heights, but it can also bring some unexpected challenges. So let's explore what it takes to be prepared for that roller coaster of a ride because you never know when it could happen. Number one, quality over quantity. One thing that sets viral posts apart is their quality. So as a boutique owner, let's focus on curating an amazing collection, providing top-notch customer service, and creating an unforgettable shopping experience. Quality is your secret ingredient. You need to make sure that you are ready if you get an impulse of purchases, that your website is ready to shut down when you have too many, so you have your inventory and your site correctly, that if you have 20 bras and you have a TikTok post go viral, you sell 20 bras and you need to stay on top of it and maybe change that to pre-orders and know your dates, know what your turnaround times are, and maybe even give yourself an extra week on the turnaround times. Um, Because in my experience, It doesn't really matter if it's a pre-order or not. When something's going viral, people are going to buy it. But you need to be realistic about your turnaround times because it can get you in trouble. If you go to your wholesaler and they say, my turnaround time is 20 days. Cool. I would put 30 days on your website just in case that wholesaler ends up being behind. Their kid gets sick. Who knows what happens? Things happen. Give yourself some time. Under promise and over deliver to your customers. So whether they think it's going to take 30 days and they get it in 20 days, great. They're going to be happy, right? So focus on making sure that your website's set up to take those viral orders and not oversell. And then also make sure you're staying on top of it that you can set it up for pre-orders with the correct turnaround time. So number two, authenticity is key. Viral post resonates because they're authentic and they're relatable. So show the real you, the journey, your heart behind your boutique. People love to connect with genuine stories, not cookie cutter perfection. So don't feel like your makeup has to be perfect. Don't feel like you don't want to show off, you know, that your tummy might be a little bit saggier after having three kids. You you know, I've seen some of the, the most raw TikTok videos go viral. I can think of one right now where a girl's stomach is hanging out and she gets her, I think they're Judy Blues, like um, tummy, I don't know what the word is, like tummy resistant or something. Um, And she has her belly hanging out. She pulls up her jeans. She tightens them. And wow, look at that transformation. I want a pair. Sign me up. I want them. I go to her site. They're all sold out, but there's a (laughs) pre-order. Sign me up. I'm buying them, right? And it's because she wasn't scared to show her tummy hanging out and show that, guys, we're all real here and we all kind of want to cover our stomach up sometime or look a little bit thinner. And that's what these jeans do for you and make you feel confident, make you feel beautiful. And all that said within a TikTok video where the person is being authentic. So if you can work on making more authentic things instead of making it perfect, making sure your your makeup's perfect, making sure the video cuts are perfect. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes the most, you know, raw things go viral. Number three, ready to rock social media. Being prepared for viral moments means having your social media game on point. Stay active, engage with your followers, and keep an eye on the trends. Social media is like a magic wand, so use it wisely. 
So one thing I've really noticed or heard lately is that people that are setting up TikTok shops, their posts are going viral or they're going anywhere from 300 views to now they're getting 60,000 views and, you know, they can't keep up with the orders. Again, we want to make sure we're setting ourselves up for success and not catastrophic disaster. But I've heard setting up a TikTok shop can help you. Now, am I saying that's, you know, the solution to everything? No, you still have to have authentic videos, engaging videos, quality videos. You got to keep up with it all. Yes, but you might look into setting up a TikTok shop. I've heard that does well. So one thing I want to kind of bring to your attention is small shop social. I've said this before. It's like Hogwarts, Hogwarts for boutique owners minus the wands. It's a place to learn from each other, grow your social media skills, and get inspired without any pushy sales pitches. So one of the things we're bringing is a lesson from somebody that's gone viral on TikTok because they set up their TikTok shop. And they're going to be teaching you how to set yours up for success, what they did, um, what things you need to know, what influencers you need to sign up with, that sort of thing. They're going to be revealing behind the curtain of what has worked for them. And that video should be coming soon to Small Shop Social. And Small Shop Social, you're not alone in this wild social media adventure that's always changing. You've got your community of boutiques, successful boutiques, mentors cheering you on, offering support along the way. It's like having a squad of social media champions rallying behind you and getting you prepared for success. So Small Shop Social is about embracing the journey, whether that's going viral or taking it one step at a time. It's like having friends who understand the boutique world and they're there to share the ride with you. All right, bosses, are you ready for that viral social media adventure? That's a wrap for today's episode. Remember, running your boutique like you could go viral means focusing on quality, authenticity, and rocking your social media game. And hey, if you're curious about Small Shop Social, check it out, but no pressure. It's like having a magical support system for your social media journey. Until next time, keep slaying, stay fabulous, and remember, your viral moment is just around the corner. I'll see you next time on the next episode of Small Shop Newsroom.